welcome, suckers. It's your boy, Soccer Sucks. And I can't fucking believe it, bro. The one time I slept in, the fucking... I wasn't aware that there was gonna be a fucking video about the fucking coin Pokemon. So, yeah. There's a fucking video out, but I slept in. So, I saw... I haven't seen the video, but I've seen... I haven't seen the video, but I have seen the... You know, that the video is there, and the fact that there's a Pokemon Go video and a video about just the thing and how it's called Gimme Ghoul. <laughs> so, so yeah. Uh, first off, let's just start with the actual thing. Actually, let's just start with the Pokemon Go stuff. Uh, just cause. Okay. Starts out with the Pokedex, the chest. We saw the chest, it, it was... It was like a little link for its own thing. Hey, Jacques! Thanks for sending me that video. Jacques and I think Lola. this might just be the Pokemon I've been hearing so much about. Trainers from all over have reported sightings. Okay. Uh, I've got to say, Professor, I'm surprised Gimme Ghoul's showing up in your neck of the woods. I'm surprised that that motherfucker could be. Gimme Ghoul. So that's what this Pokemon. Oh, the chest is part of its design. Chest it hides in actually be part of its body. It also carries the same type of coin trainers have been finding. That's right. In Paldea, right. I've seen some Gimme Ghoul that hide in treasure chests, and some that don't. Hmm. <laughs> the ones hiding in chests are new to me. That's a lot cuter than I the thought. The fascinating part is, as far as I know, no one's ever caught a Gimme Ghoul that's not in a chest. The second you get near, they hightail it out of there, dropping a coin as <laughs> they flee. That's cute. I don't think we've seen them act like that over here. You know, there's actually an interesting story about Gimme Ghoul and its coins. All right, tell us, Jack. Tell us, Jack. Here's an old, strange tale involving a mysterious coin. <laughs> Once upon a time, a young girl was out on a walk when she picked up a coin. Okay. Clink. There's another, said the girl. Wait, what's that? When the mysterious being noticed the girl, it fled through a nearby door. Mm -hmm. The girl hurriedly chased after it and came upon a treasure chest. But okay. the mysterious being lurked nearby, staring intently at the girl. I think he's just gonna the be a nice chest thing. Opened quietly, and whatever was inside met the girl's gaze. The girl put a coin into the treasure chest. One. She picked up another coin and put it into the chest. Two. Two. Once again, she picked Three. up a coin and put it into the chest. Three. Okay. <sighs> Eventually, the chest came to be full of coins. 997, 998, 999. Okay. This is where it's form changes, I'm guessing. Huh? What am I doing with all these coins? The girl wondered. Now who or what had been so intent on gathering them? Okay. What an intriguing tale. It might help us learn more about this Pokemon. I hope so. It seems to suggest that Gimme Ghoul hiding in treasure chests don't move on their own. They just manipulate people into gathering coins for them. On the other hand, Gimme Ghoul <laughs> without treasure chests. It chest looks so cute on the overall. Manipulate people. Perhaps they're able to go searching on their own. It's very odd for Pokemon of the same species to behave so differently, don't you think? Since they're behaving so differently, maybe we ought to consider them separate forms. What do you think? Should we name them? Good idea. Let's see. Chest form? Seems fair for the one that hides in chess. <laughs> That's very straightforward. As for the one that walks around, how about roaming form? <laughs> I like it. So you've never okay. heard of anyone catching a roaming form gimme ghoul in Paldea, right? Yep. But out where you are, yep. they don't run away? You said they just tag along near people who've picked up coins. Right. If trainers out here use that behavior to their advantage, they might be able to catch it. What an exciting research opportunity. Is there anything else you can tell me about Gimme Ghoul? 
I'd be happy to tell you everything I know, and I'll do what I can to help you catch roaming form Gimme Ghoul. Thank you. And I'm sure trainers will All also right. appreciate your help. Now, about those coins. This man. Uh, whoops. Greedy. There's the bell. Time for class. Sorry, Professor. Gotta run. Before you go, uh, oh well, that's Jacques for you. Always dancing to the beat of his own drum. <laughs> I ought to send him a thank you gift for his help with Gimme Ghoul. All Give right. Nice postcard. <laughs> now the research on Pokemon continues. Oh my god, no way! Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet go Pokemon Go? Oh my god! That, that, I don't know they, why they treated it like such a big collaborator. That's literally Pokemon shit. <laughs> All right. Well, that's that. So let's see the actual video now. You've been ambushed by Gimme Ghoul. Okay. Liking rock. A chest. Hello, Papa. Gimme Ghoul. Okay, so it is pure ghost. Okay. All right. That's such a weird noise that it makes. Give me go so tiny and cute. <laughs> Give me go roaming form. Oh, it's adorable. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Alright. Well, so there's that. So I should check the Pokemon website. Um, let's see. Because it probably is going to have more information on this man, so. Let's see. Give me gold chest form. <laughs> Gimme Gold Chest Form introducing a newly discovered Pokemon Gimme Gold Chest Form. Category Coin Chest Pokemon Type goes Height 1 foot Weight 11 pounds Really? 11 pounds of that chest? Ability Rattles. It hides inside a treasure chest and moves slowly. These Gimme Gold hide inside sturdy treasure chests while this provides them with a solid defense. That treasure chest's weight causes Gimme Gold to move slowly, making travel difficult. It is not uncommon for the chest form. Give me gold to be mistaken for an antique and taken home or sold to an antique store. Give me gold controls people and Pokemon, making them collect coins. And give me gold senses a person or Pokemon. Draw deer. It ambushes them. And then uses ghost energy to control its target for <laughs> ghost energy. Forcing them to collect coins, but because it often hides in warehouses, shops, corners, and other places, uh, people and Pokemon don't frequent. It tends to keep persistent. What the fuck? It tends to keep persistent control of those it doesn't manage to encounter. Gimme Ghoul's roaming form. It seems Gimme Ghoul has a second one called roaming form Gimme Ghoul. But I just say roaming form, right? This kind of Gimme Ghoul. It's a, it's a tongue twister to say that name. This kind of Gimme Ghoul doesn't hide in the treasure chest. It's small. It's small, carries a single coin on its back, and can be found hiding all over Paldea. However, since they run away as soon as a person approaches, it seems not a single trainer in Paldea has ever managed to catch one. <laughs> okay, so now it makes sense, because I was thinking, how the hell are you going to collect so many coins with dust this motherfucker? But I guess it makes sense that you just have this guy, and then obviously a chest for him. <laughs> Surprisingly, Roman Forum Gimme Goal has been spotted in the world of Pokemon Go as well. It appears that Mr. Dog, an expert, and the biology of Pokemon in the Paldeo region and Professor Willow have has been carrying out research alongside trainers in the world of Pokemon Go. Have joined forces to devise a way to catch them. Please wait for future announcements to hear all about their future results. Okay. Uh I wonder what the point of the difference is in the different forms. I wonder. Alright, is that all? Is uh <laughs> Is Professor Willow going to be part of the characters now? Imagine. Uh, nope. Not there. Let me check. Uh, news. See if 
I miss something. Okay, I see the chest video there. <laughs> this is a Pokemon Go thing, let's see. Uh, that's been confirmed. Okay, so it's just Pokemon Go and that are gonna be linked together now. So let me just check Twitter really quick for the Riddler, see if there's anything interesting going on here. So, yep, the fact that they're combined, something happening in 2023. Um, Pokemon Go. He reposted a video of an alligator. There's a chest. Okay, so yeah, nothing that much, and it's been two hours, so I think that's a decent amount of time. Hmm. Okay, so it definitely grew on me with that video. <laughs> the Pokemon Go thing didn't really make, give it a good, a good, a good light in my eyes. It made it look a little weird, but it looks good. It looks good. I like it. Pure Ghost makes sense. It was thought to be steel, but it's just pure ghost. So yeah, it's all good. Interesting. I like it. I like it. You know, it's cute. Um. Well, I almost forgot that I be analyzing the names, but come on, I don't think I have to really analyze the name. Gimme Ghoul. It's a greedy ghost. Another term for ghost is Ghoul. Gimme, like gimme the money, bruh. Gimme your fucking money and shit. So yeah, gimme Ghoul. <laughs> I swear someone in my comments said something similar. It started with the G. Shit. But, um, hmm, yeah, gonna be with Pokemon Go, did they say what the fuck is gonna be like in Pokemon Go? Like, you're just gonna be catching it? Like, is there anything specific? Like, do you get the coins? Like, you get the roaming form, wait, no, I was gonna say you get the roaming form, but you get the chest form in fucking Pokemon Go or something, but we literally see it in-game in Pokemon Go. Actually, it could just be because it was transferred, but I don't know. I wonder what the significance of Pokemon Go has to do with this. Like, why this Pokemon out of all the others? Huh. Well, could just be like Meltan. It's not like in terms of it being a legendary, but because... What was it? Like, you had to catch a bunch of Meltan, and you... Didn't fucking evolve, I think. That's how Melmetal evolved, right? So yeah. Uh, I don't know. Is there anything else I can't analyze? I mean, there's nothing really. I'll just basically say what I've heard from this. The fact that, um... Uh... What the fuck was I gonna say? Oh, yeah. With the coin Pokemon, it basically fucking has... Uh, this supposedly a really strong move that has no drawbacks. So, it also evolves. There's that, according to leaks, that it does evolve. So, um, let me check with the leaks. Okay, well the leaks aren't there. Let me check Give Me Gold 2. It evolves into a golden person liquid metal. To evolve, you have to get 999 coins. You can catch Give Me Gold chest form to get 10 to 5 coins instead of 1. This Pokemon is OP with a powerful new ability with a crazy high power signature move without any negative effect. The move has 5 PP, 140 to 150 base power attack move. And that's actually insane. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like that's... Is it? <laughs> I don't know. I, I hope it evolves into something cool, you know? I don't want it to be a little boring. <laughs> Cause it'd be, it'd be a little weird if it just fucking evolved to the same way that Meltan needed. Like it's just the same but buffer. It'd be a little weird. I I'd expect it to be. Well, it's gonna be a liquid metal. So liquid gold. I'm gonna. I I think it said or I'm assuming because it's coins. So yeah. All right. So here's future me after editing and checking everything. So yeah. Uh, just quick stuff that I noticed. You can actually tell that there's, well, if it wasn't obvious now, it's obvious. Well, if it wasn't obvious then, it's obvious now that there's going to be size differences in Pokemon because you can see in the 
Pokemon. Uh, there's Litleo standing right next to each other. So right next to each other. There's no perspective change or anything. And they're going to be different sizes. So there's that. Uh, so that's coming in from Legends Arceus. Uh, I've also seen that... I was thinking, like, what would the purpose be for the Pokemon Go stuff? Like, why it's connected to Pokemon Go? And it seems to be that the roaming form might only be in Pokemon Go because in the video they keep saying that we've never caught a Pokemon Go... Not a Pokemon Go, a roaming form in the Paldea region. So there's that and that in Go that they just be tackling on... Tackle... Tagging along with you. Sheesh. That was hard to say. So there's that. So you can probably just catch one and then maybe transfer it to a Pokemon home or something. I don't know if that's how it works, but I don't know. It sort of makes sense, but I don't. I don't know. It, it doesn't make sense completely in my head, but I could see it being a thing, you know? Like... I don't know. I think you probably would be able to catch the the roaming form in in Pal in the Paldea region, but it's probably just gonna be rare. I don't know. I just I just don't understand the Pokemon Go the connection with Pokemon Go just yeah. Uh, there's also I've seen people talk about how why it was Jock and not Professor Sod or Professor Juro. And I just think that's because of field of expertise. Like, he's literally a biology professor, or in po he's a researcher in Pokemon biology. So it makes sense that he's talking about Pokemon because Professor Sada and Professor Turo, as it says in their name, is probably has something to do with time because Pasada, Futuro, Future, Past, you know, shit like that. So there's that. Also, I just realized that when I was reacting, I didn't really say it, but I was thinking it that the animation for the story for Gimme Goal was actually really cool. I really hope that they do more stuff like that because it was actually really nice. I really liked it. And I guess just to talk about stats, it's obvious that the chess form is going to be tankier and probably physical defense for sure and maybe special defense. And it's obviously going to be slower and obviously the roaming form is going to be faster and probably have higher attack stats. So there's that. It Chess form might also have more HP. There's that, and then obviously when it evolves, it's probably gonna balance out, probably become even, maybe like base 90 stats, maybe base 80, uh, but yeah, that's all. There's that, and I don't know, I don't think there's anything else that I really can talk about, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching, leave a like and subscribe, because it's been your boy, Sakura Sucks, later suckers.